Welcome to Kingfisher High School Football 2004. Tonight's game features the Kingfisher Yellow Jackets versus the Tuttle Tigers. This game was played October the 8th, 2004 at Tuttle Stadium. Thank you for watching Kingfisher High School Football 2004. They got a broken eye and uh, Henson up behind the center. Hands the ball to the running back. Luce. <laughs> there it is. Big Steven Wilson in on a tackle. And Mincy was not able to get out from behind. 33, Clay Steverson. Check that. That's 34, Jeremiah Huff. Left-footed kicker. High spiral kick is taken at the 37 by Casey Lynn. He goes hey, to the far got, side. Got a little something, Harold. He does have got something. Got a little something going. He's at the 50, 40, 130. The kicker is the one that made the stop, and uh, he's the one that uh, made the difference between the uh, touchdown and the tackle right there, and he did stop, but what a heck of a run by uh, Casey Lynn. That's a different formation. Yeah, shotgun. Two wideouts near here uh, on the left. Yek with the ball, throws it, and it's complete at Beerke. the 20, at the yes. 15, to Birky at the 10. Still oh, carries the body at the 5, and then we go. have a foul on, and there's no flag. Holy cow, somebody came in and lowered the boom on him after he was down, and no flag. He looked. Yek up behind center, strong side to the right, gives it to Lofton over the middle. He's he rumbling. Five. He's bumbling. Still on his feet. Is he into the He's end zone? Now. The officials haven't said yet, have they? The one over far side. Yes, it is. is. There it is. And Lofton with his main strength. <laughs> and you can't call it awkwardness because he was hit many, many times, and he kept his feet and kept on balance and drove right into the – Yek will tow it up. Parcel, I believe, is the holder. His number is uh, against us here. We can't see it. The ball's down. Kick is up. And it is yes. good. There's timeout on the field. The Jackets lead 7 to nothing. 7-15 in the first. Out, Steve. This nope. time, Henson gets it to me. Oh, oh, the ball, ball. Loose. ball came loose. And did the Jackets recover? What did the Jackets say they did? I'm listening the, uh, to our stands, I think we might have. The had. official, yes, sir. And I'm telling you, <laughs> Munsey got stuck bad. I'm uh, not sure who hit him. Uh, Curtis Lofton went and introduced himself to him, Harold. Mike, number 31, that's Barton. Yeah, and we got a Bjerke in as a tight end on the right. On the, yeah, okay. Long signal count. Quarterback backs, got some time, throws it, and it's complete. Goes to Bjerke. Bjerke. He's got He's, the, oh, good tackle from behind. You know, otherwise, I think he would have had the first yeah. down. And the official was kind of in the way, but he's part of the field when something like that happens. See the field clocks. I don't know how many seconds are left. Snap is up. It's good. It's to Myers. It's complete. It's the first down oh, nice at the 20, move, at the 17-yard line. Good spin move by Kale Myers, the sophomore, looking ever much like a senior there. Kind of uh, a new stadium, and it's really lovely of uh, the seating. Second down and nine now for the Jackets. This time uh, fake to Lofton. Yeah, keeps the ball, rolls around to his right. Enough. He's looking downfield. He tucks it, runs. He gets inside the five. He's still going, Harold. He's still on his feet down to the three, to the two. He took a belt, Steve, and still stayed on his feet. Holy cow. That's some determination right there, That's Harold. also a first and go for the Jackets. All right. See where they mark it down. I think it's at about the two. And so it'll be a 21-yard field goal attempt by Ryan Yeck. And that is uh, Tyler Miller, I believe, holding, or is that Tyler Davis? Should be Tyler Miller. Number 12. 12. The ball is down. The kick is up, and it is good. Yeah, all so right. Another another three points on the board, and it's timeout with that 21-yard field goal. It's 10 to nothing, Kingfisher. We'll be right back. So far, Harold. Wide out, single to the left, single to the right. Henson back, throws it. First pass, and it, it is uh, dropped. Dropped. It was, it was complete for a moment, but uh, Casey Lynn was right there, and he may have got his hand in there to knock it out of the young man's uh, hands. Yeah, it was well, Coffin was the intended receiver. Well, Lynn and Barton yeah, uh, kind of over here on the right. Real strange. Now, where in the world yes, is going? To, the ball was uh, snapped to Lynn. Lynn's at the 35. He jukes a player at the 40, 45, and uh -oh. runs out of bounds about the 47-yard line. A uh, little trickery, wouldn't you yes, say? I would say so, Harold. Back there on the left and right, Lynn in motion. Away from the playing field. Yet to Lofton. Lofton has some running room at the oh. 45, at the 50, at the 40. He's still going. Oh, look uh, at that, Harold. He broke look at that. another tackler, and he's still on his feet down <laughs> inside the title 25-yard uh, line. Oh, Harold, he should have been tackled 10 yards in front of there. Tyler Henson was number four. He <laughs> tried to strip the ball away from Lofton, and what happened was he got a, Lofton got away from him and still kept on his feet. Second down and 10 at the 27. This time, uh, Yak rolls to his right under pressure, throws it. Wide open is Provost at about the 
uh, 21-22 yard line. It's not going to be enough for the first. He needs to go to about the 18 or 17, but to bring up third and short. And let's see what kind of trickery they pull out of their hats here. Yek, back. Oh, my gosh. He's under pressure. He throws it deep. He's wide open. open. He's wide Turkey. open. Get it, Turkey. Turkey. And he's first and goal at the four. Wide open was Kehu. Was I can't get it out. Clayton Bierke. And uh, going against Henson. And Henson's still sitting on his on his <laughs> hind legs back there. All right. Eye formation. Lofton, the fullback. He gets the ball. Oh, he's On in. his feet. And he's... Touchdown. He's in. Touchdown. Oh, about them apples. Woo. That is uh, Davis holding. Yak will attempt to point after. Long signal count. Now the ball is back. The day. It's up, and it's good, and there's timeout on the field. It's 17 to nothing. That's right, 17 to zero. Kingfisher over Tuttle. We'll be right back. 17 to nothing over Tuttle. Tuttle's been into Kingfisher territory once. Misdirection. Barton with the hey, ball. Hey. Still on his feet at the 45, at the 50, at the 45, 43-yard line. What running by Barton. Man. Man alive. He came out of traffic, kept his balance, and just put his head forward, kept his shoulders uh, straight down the field, and his legs churning. Picks it tight into the right. Eye formation is broken. Fake to Lynn. Pass to Barton. It's complete at the 34. And uh, 36, and he turns around trying to get that first down. I'm not for sure. Let's see where they mark it down, Steve. Yeah. It's going out to the quarterback. Everybody else wide outs. Hands it to Lynn. Lynn gets away from the tackle. He's, he's at go. the 30. He's at the 20. He's at There's, the 10. He's gone. He's gone. Five. Touchdown. Casey Lynn from 35 yards out on the Jackets' third and 13. And I'm telling you, Steve said during that timeout, if the Jackets score here, it's like nailing the coffin. That's all he's been doing. I think he must have uh, hurt Maybe his ankle or yeah. something. He will hold the ball. Yek will attempt the point after. Ball is down. The kick is up. And it is good. There's timeout on the field. 24 to nothing. Kingfisher will be right back. Yek really is a strong player to be able to get up from that spear. Pa hand off to Lynn. Hey. He's at the 40. He's at the 45. He's at 50. Going. He's going to be knocked out of bounds <laughs> over on the uh, Tuttle about the 40-yard uh, line. And there's a penalty. It might have been a late hit, Harold. Could have been. Let's way see what they way call. over on out of bounds. There's a penalty thrown. Uh, Lynn in the backfield. Castoni snaps the ball to Yeah, He runs oh, with no. the ball. He's He'll get the first, first down. down. He's he at the 10. Score, He's at the inside the, the 10, down inside the 10, about the five or six yard line. Nice zigging and zagging Weaving by his way yeah. downfield. Well, is that not a beautiful run? R uh, zigging and zagging left and right and left and right. And it's first. Wide out to the right. Yeah, hands the ball to Lofton. Lofton should be in. He is. Touchdown, Curtis. His third run of the night. He has a hat trick and his third touchdown. From the one, and the Jackets on the scoreboard again, making it 30 to nothing. Seven plays. Yak will attempt the point after. The snap is coming. The ball is down. The kick is up. I believe he missed that one. It went off to the left. Oh, no! He hooked it in, Steve, yes. so there's timeout on the field. 31 to nothing. Kingfisher will be right back. Oh. Quarterback Henson going all the way. The transfer in from Blanchard. Fakes, rolls to his right, stops, sets, throws, oh. and it is over the hands of Lofton, almost into the hands of number 11, Shelton. Yeah, I think uh, Curtis might have got his hands on that ball, and if so, that no pass interference. Boy, I tell you, Heck was right there with him, and not sure if it's a hamstring or what. Quarterback keep pitch to Lynn at the 35, 40, Here we 45, go, 50. He shoots back oh. at the, inside on, the 40. Ball. Oh, tripped up. Uh, nice trip up by Henson. Now we have an extra flag on the play. Uh, Not an extra flag, but another flag. Blocking. So far here. At least it seems like it. Henson with the ball. Still with it. Pitches. It's the ball the is ground, loose. Jack got, got it. it. Who oh. fell on that one? Was that? Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Bond. Christian Bond fell on that fumble. It was intended for Mincy. Tied hand on the left side. Single setback is Lynn. Two wide outs. One on the right, one on the left. Yek, back in the pocket, has time. Good under pressure, throws it, and it's complete to Bierke at the 30. At the 35, first down, the first down. Yes, sir. Nice little cut move by Bierke to get that first down. Wonderful pass, and, and as Steve said, the nice offensive move there by Yek will punt it, and he gets it off, end over end. Yes. Oh, and it hits through Mouncey. It touched uh, him. He touched him. 
And uh, trying to, oh, yeah, good stick. look at that. And there's a flag, oh, that should have been a flag on number four, Henson, as he just took out somebody. Holy cow. He's still down, our My player. My gosh. I mean, he just took somebody out. Here we go, onside kick, and it's received by the Jackets. That's Birke, who uh, took it at the 49, and that was obvious what they were gonna do there. Down by 11 points, 31 to 20. Very incohesive, not been in together. Henson now, again with the uh, snap, rolls back to his Get left, him. and he is tackled yes. for a loss. That was uh, the long arm of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That? Third down and a bunch. That was a good loss on the yep. football game if they don't get this first. Henson rolling to his right, and we don't want him to get the first. He throws it, and it is, oh, oh two Kingfisher players went up for it. Coffin was triple teamed. Lofton, Lofton was back yep. there Lofton as a safety. No call. Here we go. Henson back, throws it, and it is to number 84. He will not get the first down. The Jackets will take over on downs. Yes, we will, Hot Harold. diggity dog. And that is Yek. Long signal count. Takes the knee and gets out of there. Curtis back into the game. Yes, I believe That's he's in there to just see. to kind of uh, protect his quarterback. Yep. Oh, we don't. Three, two, one, and that is the end of the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 31 to 20, Kingfisher victorious over Tuttle. It was hard fought, especially here in the second half. We had some key injuries to some players. They were able to come back and play. I'm not sure if they were 100% or not, but uh, they were enough percent to uh, to get the victory in the wraps, and we go up 6-0 and on the season. Stay undefeated. Tuttle falls to 4-2, and two. and don't you know this is a hard loss for Tuttle uh, here at Tuttle. Yeah, you know. We're the only team to beat them here. That's right. In their last, however, since last year. A bunch, them. a bunch. So the final score here at Tuttle was Kingfisher 31, Tuttle 20. It was all Kingfisher in the first half, and boy, Tuttle came back and kind of made a game of it in the second half. For Steve Swoboda, Francis Nault, Harold Drake, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good evening and good night from Tuttle.